creator God, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery. Hear our prayers for Aaron and Amanda. With faith in you and in each other, they pledge their love today. May their lives always bear witness to the reality of your love. We ask this through Jesus the Christ and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Love is a friendship that has caught fire. It is quiet understanding, mutual confidence, sharing and forgiving. It is loyalty through good and bad. It settles for less than perfection and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present. It hopes for the future and it doesn't brood over the past. It is because of the love that emanates from you, you two are like a magnet for other people's love. What comes to mind is that two are better than one. And this wonderful mystery of your true love means you are meant to be. You will be joined in a few minutes not just by a piece of paper, but in a sacrament, in holy matrimony. But the wonderful truth is that you were joined from before the foundation of the earth. God has just allowed you to find each other. Remember this, when times are tough and rough, those of us who are married already know it's not all chocolate and roses. Sometimes it's sour grapes. <laughs> love is patient and love is kind. We are all called to this manifestation of true love. Amanda, I loved you when we were just friends. I sensed your beautiful spirit. Uh, I loved and appreciated you as a person because I could sense how good you are. Your love for people is at the heart of your beauty. I admire you, your strength, your strength to love and care, your unending radiance of positivity and joy. Aaron James Montoya, <clears throat> I love you. I love your kind heart, your passion, and zeal for life. I love that you are generous and grateful. I love that you want the world to be a kinder and more just place. I love that you care for my family and friends and you let them know it. I love that I feel peaceful and content in your arms. I love when you pull me in for a dance, for a kiss, for a good conversation. I love that you want to be a dad and will be an amazing one at that. I love that you still carry the poem that I wrote about you when I fell in love with you seven years ago, every day in your wallet. You truly are sunshine like a beautiful fantasy princess. <laughs> and you're real. <laughs> From the moment you and I met, your beauty captivated me. Uh, since then, your strength, your drive, and your raw talent have impressed me. You are amazing, and with confidence, I happily choose you right now. Uh, I am the proudest person today to vow to you that I plan to match your gifts with my own. And together we can joyfully share them with our family, with our friends, uh, with our colleagues, our neighbors, uh, with everyone that we're blessed to know. I vow to take care of you, to sacrifice for your benefit, 
and to help you live a joyful, long life. I vow to be your partner in this life and the next. Amanda Marie Damiana Williams, I vow to you my love for eternity. Aaron, today and every day, I vow to be your strong, loving partner and laugh with you in good times and bad. I vow to cherish and respect you as an individual, a partner, and an equal. I vow to cheer you on as you work toward your goals. I vow to love you fiercely through all the days and nights of our lives. I am here for you always. I am so excited for this next chapter. You are my soulmate, my most intimate friend, my lover, my partner for life, and finally, my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> May the Lord in his goodness strengthen you and fill you both with blessings. What God has joined together, let no one divide. And by the authority invested in me by the state of Oregon, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Ooh. I present to all of you, Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, Thank you. Ah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. up to my older sister until I passed her in height <laughs> around the third grade. <laughs> um, but even then I still looked up to her and I wanted to do everything she did. times that I got to spend um, some quality time with these two. We actually went snowshoeing in uh, Rocky Mountain National Park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I clearly remember. <laughs> I don't remember it all that well. All I remember is these two somehow ended up down an embankment struggling to just climb up this mountain full of just powdery snow and they just kept sliding down, sliding down. And my brother was determined to get Amanda back up <laughs> the side of the hill. <laughs> it was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Being the younger brat, I often got my way. <laughs> Um, until Amanda got smart and decided that she would first choose the outfit that she didn't want to wear. <laughs> so then when I stole her outfit, <laughs> she ended up getting what she wanted. <laughs> so sneaky. Okay. So on my first day of high school, Amanda's friends thought I was the cool older sister visiting from college. <laughs> and Amanda would always say, she may look older, but I'm more of a chick. <laughs> He offered to shovel our sidewalks <laughs> and take out our trash. He was definitely a gentleman compared to the other college boys in the neighborhood. <laughs> Shortly after they started dating, Aaron moved seven hours away to the western Colorado Slope, but Amanda and him continued a long-distance relationship. I knew Aaron loved my sister when he was willing to drive seven hours to visit her often, and I know gas was not cheap in your big truck. <laughs> <laughs> so fast forward here, seven years later, here we are on this beautiful, sweet evening, celebrating the marriage of this wonderful, strong couple. and 
friendly type winds, or come hell and high water, you will both have what it takes to see through it, to endure, to survive, to live and play and love another day. And so with that, I'll say uh, cheers in, in the languages of all your co combined cultural uh, uh, heritage uh, heritages. Cheers, salute, Chantano, Solancha, and Nastrovi.